Listen. Everyone knows these temptations are strong and how difficult it is to break this vice and how enticing it is to visit those websites. But you're a man and giving into temptation for a moment of pleasure is not manly, it's effeminate. Now, I don't know your situation, whether it's habit or you might be stressed, but just know that those short moments of pleasure will only be followed by a feeling of immense guilt. It always does. But if you resist, on the other hand, yeah, you might suffer for a short moment, but imagine how great triumph is gonna taste. How you can hold your head up high and walk away from these temptations. Now, if you're single, you have the obligation to better yourself. The obligation to build virtue in preparation of your vocation. You don't want to burden your future family or congregation. Man up. And if you're married, you're destroying your soul, inviting demons in your home. And not to add to the fact that this is infidelity to your spouse. You're supposed to be the head. The one who's been given responsibility by God to lead. Lead well. Do not give the enemy the satisfaction. This is spiritual battle. Now you can sit back and have your chain jerked by the devil, giving in to every temptation. Or you can resist and put up a fight no matter how much it hurts. And boy, does heaven love a good fight. Never waver. Keep resisting. Flee from the devil and eventually he will flee from you. Because whether you like it or not, this is spiritual warfare. And in the end, either you will wave that white flag, or he will. Make him do it. Now put down your phone. Close your laptop. Walk away from your PC, whatever the situation. And go pray the rosary for every single man and women who struggle with the same temptation. Do it for them, do it for your family, and above all, do it because you love God more than you love sin. I'll see you next time you're tempted.